After a 90-plus year absent, the Rozo Stone is back home at the Rozo County Museum. This in from our news partner, the Tribune newspaper. It's never been proven that it's natural or that it's actually been hand-inscribed, Roseau County Museum Director Curator Britt Dahl stated. Dahl was referring to a small stone that was found by Jake Nelson, a resident of Roseau, uh, Minnesota area, while he was working in his garden in 1916 or 1918. Along with the stone also found was an Indian club, arrowheads, and a stone used to scrape hides. This information uh, reportedly comes from a conversation with the late Mike Holm, Minnesota Secretary of State and former Rozo resident, on April 24, 1926, and recorded in a memo by C.P. Bull of the Minnesota Department of Agriculture and former faculty member of agronomy. Uh, Bull was also a former resident of Roseau County. There are many theories about the origin of this small, smooth, one-and-a-half-inch uh, oblong sedimentary stone. Many know it as the Roseau Stone, while others lay claim it to be a ruined stone. At some point between the discovery of the stone and 1927, Mike Holm came into possession of it. Holm sent the uh, stone to A.G. Jenks, a professor at the Minnesota Department of Anthropology, for investigation. Jenks said it was just something of uh, nature, stated Britt. When it was in his possession and he and a field coordinator at the Minnesota Historical Society, Clifton Stauffer, applied an acid bath to the stone, there was concern that the acid may have ruined the inscription, but it wasn't true. It seems to be of nature that only the dirt was removed from it. Jenks, in turn, sent it to Professor John Jagger at the Institute of Architects with a note from Jenks asking Jagger to see what he could make of it. In his spare time, Professor uh, Jagger reviewed the Rozo Stone over a two-year period. In his findings, he noted, looking in face, we discovered in further a band of inscriptional ribbon, average uh, three-eighths of an inch wide, contouring the entire face as a seam or border of a headgear, well recognized by students of medieval costume. There is no doubt about the existence of an uh, archaic script of which some kinds are known to the indigenous of Europe. This script must have been a master in handling uh, ligatures. Britt added, there is one area that looks like the face is carved on it. There appears to be a beaver on the other side of the stone. Now you can read more about this in the Tribune newspaper. Suffice it to say, the stone has been returned to the Roseau County Museum. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for Page1Publications.com.